we are doing brake hoses it's in that uh, barrel I think oh, well, the, the somewhere maybe I don't know these will go on just from the front and brake rotors and brake pads are that comes off and and there is a 14 somewhere here and I need to get a screwdriver and remove a clip so this goes in like so not not easy to start. That's really? the problem. Yeah, kind of have to maybe start like this. I think. Yeah. Whatever it is, I cannot start it. Aftermarket parts don't fit. Seems like it. Seems like it. Well, maybe this this rigid part is so long that I think the it's difficult to line up the threads. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should. Didn't you have lined that? You, you put those wheels. Did they fit? Wait, which ones? The wheel with ones. They fit okay. Well, on my car they are completely different. No. Well, they are not exactly like they have fittings instead of like making it like direct fit. No. They have fittings. So I don't know. That seems to be a slight problem. Maybe too long. Yeah. Well, I imagine if 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 it screws in it will clear the hub but to start it it kind of goes in crooked and uh, no you can't but before installing the caliper you should try put the, line in it. put the line in and see because I think this one I have to take the caliper off I don't even know what to do is it just hmm. like how do I Because of this space here, try on this side. yeah, it's it's a bit of a tight fit, I guess. My bad. What did you do? I put air into the caliper. What do you mean air? Well, when I try to squeeze it, it you feel it. No, that's okay. You sure? Yeah, because it will only push. Right, Just maybe push. put a towel over that plug. This fits. I'm sure there is Whoa. a... Whoa! Well, that's what I was... <laughs> I did put up the... <laughs> Yeah. Well, now I made it even a bigger mess. Yeah, that's okay. There, I think that's enough. And then this goes in... Um, somehow. Oh, you know what? Did they include those washers here too? Just on the front. Makes no sense. Because how is it going to stay if it doesn't have... I think maybe if we can move them from the back, makes more sense. Pull this plug out. this in. Maybe we'll just stay. Well, I think no. I think this stays and fits. 
just need to make this tight except for one thing I need to hold this hex and make it tight Oh, this just became tight instantly. I don't know why. It just bottomed out, I guess. Clean it up a little. And I think it's done. Hmm? I think this is done on this side. Push, push. Bleeding brakes. Nice rotors. Well, I think they lasted. The pads was like 60, 70,000 miles. Oh, dry. That's a lot for pads to last. Yeah, that's like almost at the minimum of them. Yeah. I closed it. Oh, you did? Yeah, how about now? Okay. Well, because there is, a, there is like air on the other side for sure. You want to try the other side? Yeah, I'm going to close this. And, uh, go to the other side. Now this goes back on. I should probably drain the transmission of this thing. Do the transmission? Yeah, it's starting to get like yucky. I don't like the pentacin. I think I put ATF in it. Try that fluid that I bought. Which one? I have a bottle. I'll tell you what it is. Oh. Bottles of ATF. I really like ATF. But it's uh, it's supposed to be something else. Uh -huh. Red line says you can use it. Bottle of ten cars. Well, it just feels a lot better than what it was. Well, I had those considerations, and then I got the, I think it's something like Titan, or I forgot the name, mm -hmm. but it's what uh, is e e equivalent to BMW spec fluid. That's what I put in here. Right. BMW. Was it? I have a bottle of it. Not know. original BMW or? No, it's like BMW from the logo. I have a bottle of it. Yeah, it takes almost two. Yeah, Go so down. you can put a bottle on is like thirty dollars. I will look what that stuff is. Oh, okay. Hey. Nice. Moving to the front, what's left of the pads is, should have triggered the sensor. Did you see any, you didn't see any light? Uh -oh. That's strange, they are. But look how evenly mm -hmm. they are worn out. Really nice and thin and flat. Beautiful. But pads are done, rotors are done. Ooga dooga. This side is. That's really nice. No rust on the brake lines. So beautiful. I okay. got a dead hub. Dead hub? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, dead hub? Is it loose? Noisy? 
Got crunch. Crunchy. I'm gonna come check it out. Okay. Maybe not. Oh. Is this a? Yeah, that's a rubber thingy. We have. Yeah, these rings are kind of loose. And then Maybe that's why you put those in there. There's a spacer. Washers? There's washers, yeah. They're two. And uh, zip ties. Hmm? Zip ties. Well, let me see if they actually fit over. Yeah, that's a little bit puzzling. Now, I think they are supposed to go over this end of the hose that's what I can somebody only put instructions well, who needs this instru maybe the zip tie is meant to why is there only one zip tie? two? oh there is two? yeah two zip ties so this line comes out really stiff and Crack? Oh, look at this! Yeah, they're gone. I don't think they're safe. They're it's just a open fracture right there. Yeah. Well, done! And gone. Bleeding brakes on the other side. I think it's still dirty. Yeah. Got to check the level. I mean, I think it's still good. I mean, it's not terrible like on some other cars, <laughs> but it's not clean, clean. So keep pumping. Well, it's kind of clean in the tube, and maybe it's getting. I mean, there is no air. Yeah. Let's. Yeah, closed. Yeah. Done. This side. Nice bottle design. Did you close it? Yeah, I closed it. Oh, yeah, it's kind of dirty. Yeah. Open it and I'll pop it. Yep. Bricks are bled. Nice. Where's this? Alright. This is the end of Saturday. Well, at least this job breaks on four corners. Rotors, pads, brake lines in a, I don't know, couple of hours, I guess.